Hi, Dr. Michael Ritchie. Hey, we know you have lots of options. Thank you for considering Ritchie Iconic and LASIK Center for your LASIK procedure. What I want to do is sort of walk you through what it is, what we do, and where we go. Now, for the purposes of this talk, I want to clarify something. There is a procedure called LASIK. There is a procedure called PRK. I will describe them, but from that point on, I'm just going to talk about LASIK. We can describe differences in PRK as it applies to you. First, what is LASIK? LASIK is a laser procedure that we use to reshape your cornea to lessen your dependence or get rid of your dependence on glasses or contacts. It requires two lasers. The first laser we use to make a thin flap of the cornea. We fold that flap out of the way to expose what we call the bed of the flap. We use the second laser on the bed of the flap to achieve your correction. We're going to reshape the cornea to incorporate your glasses prescription. We put the flap back down. The flap, in essence, is a biological band-aid and it works beautifully to speed the healing. It's the reason that after LASIK, you're going to wake up the next morning and go, wow. What is PRK? PRK stands for photorefractive keratectomy. In essence, it's LASIK without a flap. We do the treatment right on the surface. Drawback takes longer to heal. Two to four weeks typically before things are starting to settle down. So, my preference, do one eye at a time, do the other eye a month later. Now, why would we do that? Well, it's better for people with certain cornea conditions. It's better for people with a cornea that's a little thinner. A year from now, the vision is identical between LASIK and PRK. They're both great procedures, but for some people, PRK is a better option. So there are four absolute contraindications in my mind. One, if you have an abnormal cornea, a problem called keratoconus, your cornea is too thin, it won't hold its shape, don't have any laser vision correction. I have keratoconus, I'll watch carefully to make sure you don't. Two, if you have certain conditions of the eye, like herpes infections, now everybody kind of goes, Whoo. but cold sores and shingles in the eye are herpes viruses. They're actually very common. If you have those, don't have LASIK. Uveitis, inflammation in the eye. If this is a problem you have, you know it because you need to be seeking care and you're probably on drops. Active or uncontrolled uveitis, don't have any surgery. And the final one is, is your glasses prescription in the range of what the laser is capable of correcting? And I'll be honest with you, for most people the answer to that is yes. Next, we have problems that we call relative contraindications. Relative, that means if you have it, well, we'll take into account how is that problem, how's the rest of your exam, and there's a long list of relative contraindications. You know, do you have a family member with keratoconus? Have you ever had any corneal surgery, including a corneal transplant or previous LASIK or PRK? Do you have a cataract? Do you have diabetes? Do you have macular degeneration or any retinal disease? And there's a long list. These are things that we'll look at during your exam. If you have that, we'll bring it up and discuss how it plays into the decision making for LASIK. Finally, you have